You guys have talked about uh, how your shooting will come and go, but the defense kind of has to be a constant pullout games where you're not hitting your shots. Um, could you just, I guess, illustrate how vital that was in this game where I think you guys shot 15% in the second quarter and the shooting was coming and going all night? Yeah, uh, <clears throat> you know, when you're getting stops, um, that makes up for a lot of different things. I think tonight our shots started to fall in that third quarter and was able to get us a nice little lead. And um, you know, we had to figure out where we're going to get our energy from. We've been playing our last six games at home, so when we start missing four or five shots, our crowd is, you know, trying to get excited for us, but not here in the road, you know. <laughs> so we got to figure out where we get that energy from. And I think we got it from each other there in that second half. And but the defense has stayed consistent. They shoot 38% from the field. Uh, we out rebounded them, so that's pretty, that's a that's a solid night. And when they went on an 11-2 run and got to within two late, maybe about three minutes left, two and a half minutes left, um, and you were able to kind of take over and salt it away. I mean, what were you able to do in terms of what were you able to take advantage of to get to your spot to be able to put this away that way? I just I really think that <clears throat> I missed too many shots tonight. I felt like I got to my spots, but I got to do a better job of sticking with my fundamentals once I get there. So we won't even have to be in these positions, you know. When we up 18, 16, that could have been 23, 24 if I made a few of those shots. So I don't take some of those. But I took a couple bad threes, you know. So I feel like if, you know, I'm getting to my spot all night, getting downhill, that's usually good for our team. and. You know, it was in spurts for me tonight. But it was good to see a couple go down in the fourth, and uh, it's good to get a win. Yeah, we talked a bit about the offense. You guys had 39 in the first half and then essentially doubled that in the third quarter. <laughs> what sort of working offensively did you guys do in that stretch? Um, we may, I mean, like I said, make, make or miss league. You see a couple threes go in, and LaMarcus got it going for us, knocking down the midi. Um, we just started to make shots. I got, I made probably five out of my six shots there in the third, you know. So, um, you know, when you when you see the ball go through the rim, it just gives you a little bit more energy. It fired the bench up, which made us better on the defensive side of the ball. So, um, but I just like how we didn't get down big early. Um, in spite of, you know, even though we shot bad, we stuck with our defense. We talked all night. We won one string. So that's that's a step in the right direction. Oh, yeah. Uh, I love Kay's game. I think he's going to be a tough, tough cover for a long, long time. Got to know him when he was in high school, so we built a little relationship. And to play against him in the NBA is, uh, is sweet. We had a lot of conversations about being on this level and what it took. And to see him out here battle through some injuries to start, but to come out here and play aggressive tonight, hit some big shots for him. Uh, I'm happy for him. Looking forward to seeing his career. Were you talking to him? Did you guys get into it a little bit verbally? Oh yeah, of course. I mean, you got guys that you know, and like I said, this is this is really one of my guys, you know. So <clears throat> um, when I'm guarding him, I know he's going to come. I want him to come at me as best as he can, and when he's guarding me, I'm gonna do the same. It's just that friendly competition it ramps up a bit when you when you know somebody. Uh, I was the same. I mean, it's just always an adjustment period, I guess, when you first, you know, get a feel for it. Um, but after some time using the ball, get, just get used to it after a while. Do you, this new ball, some people say it's an issue. How do you feel about it? Um, I mean, I think. I mean, I, for me, I can't. Go, I can't talk it for my peers, but for me, I mean, it just feel the same. Um, I mean, every ball is has to be worn in a little bit before you get that that feel. And um, even with the Spalding balls, it took you know once the, the newer balls were tough to play with because they slipped out your hand a bit. But once you <clears throat> once they got warmed up, they was cool. So the the, the Wilson one's still the same. It's a good atmosphere tonight. What are you expected in Toronto? <laughs> Ridiculous. I'm excited that Toronto is open again and they got their their team back um it was a rough year for them being in tampa and moving your whole organization so uh, it's exciting that you know we get to go up there and play again that's a that's a unique fan base and um you know they're gonna be 
on their feet all game and, and bring giving their team some energy. So it's going to be a nice test for us. That's a good time. Grind it out kind of game. What's the key as a group to persevering on nights like this? Um, I think just locking in on defense. Uh, we're going to make shots, timely shots when they count. Um, I think just defensively, we, we let up in, you know, late in that fourth, early in that fourth quarter. They, they gained confidence. Uh, K start making shots. Um, their entire team start making shots, getting to the basket, basically doing it all. So we have to kind of settle in the game and, and, and get stops when we needed to and uh, get some timely buckets. <clears throat> Matched your point total from the first half in the third quarter alone. How would you describe the way the intensity went up in that period? It looked like you and, and Kevin really got it going. Yeah, we just, we just, we got stops in transition. We had an extra burst. We made shots and we put it all together. <clears throat> when we do that, I, mean, I think we had a 39-point yeah, quarter. So, uh, I mean, we were getting south, so we were doing what we are supposed to. <clears throat> that fourth quarter, we just we let up a little bit, and uh, they gained confidence, and it's a ball game. James, at the end of the fourth quarter, when they, they cut it to one, I mean, well, that actually they were within they were two, and then Kevin scored uh, six straight points. Is that him just taking over on his own, or are you guys looking for him, calling? Yeah, we just called, I mean, I called, called sets, and uh, we executed the sets very, very well. Um, our screening, um, our positioning, and our spacing. And I think that um, we just gave Kevin room to do what he does. And I mean, execution down the stretch was, was pretty solid. Uh, whether he makes a shot or misses a shot, I think you know we did a really good job of, of being in the right right space. James, what did you uh, see in Kate coming in tonight? He's aggressive. He's aggressive. I feel like uh, I mean I didn't really get a chance to watch him play uh, last night, but I feel like tonight he was he was very aggressive. Uh, you know, got good size and uh, his, his jumper look, you know, confident. Um, get to the basket. You know, you just got to continue to keep going, continue to keep working and uh, <clears throat> and building that confidence in his in his game. If a guy is uh, struggling from the field, but he's getting the shot profile, he's getting all the looks that he normally would get. I mean, how do you kind of help him through that struggle on the court? And B, do you think like this? Can help Blake, you know, kind of. Take oh off. yeah, for sure. And I, and I tell him consistently. He's probably tired of me, but I tell him consistently, like, you know, when he's open, shoot the ball, have confidence. You know, that's what you're out there for. You know, you, you do your thing on defense, take charges. You know, you play extremely hard. But offensively, when you got opportunities to shoot, you know, which is often, shoot the ball. Like, have that confidence. And these, I feel like these last two games, he's, he's, you know, he's making shots, but he's shooting it with confidence. And. and Continuously, I think it's my job, not only Blake, but just our entire team, to make sure that uh, guys are, are confident and, and you know are able to do what they do um, at the highest level every single night. Going back to Canada, what kind of atmosphere are you expected in the next one? Uh, excited, you know, it's been a minute. Um, they got one of the best fan bases, um, so it's going to be exciting. They're a scrappy team. Um, I mean, I know it's early, but overlooked. You know, but we can't take anybody for granted. You know, every game we approach it like we're com we're, we're focused on ourselves, and uh, we got to get the best out of ourselves every single night. Uh, we didn't finish the game like we, we needed to tonight, you know, which is a little um, disappointing. But we obviously we won the game, so that's that's what matters. But uh, we got to just continue. It's a long road trip, and we got to just take it game by game. And a little defensive lapse in, in the fourth quarter, like you said, but overall, ninety points. You know, overall, it's pretty solid. I mean, we we were up. We knew they were going to make a run. They're a young team that can you know, shoot the ball and, and attack the basket, uh, and they're at home. So we knew they were going to make a run. We just had to sustain the run and uh, and close the game out. But I think overall, we we put on a pretty good defensive show, uh, allowing ninety points. Um, I feel like if we can continue to. Uh, what have you seen in your team's overall physicality mm -hmm. so far through these first handful of games? Yeah, I, I'm proud of the guys. They, they've, you know, we're a small team mm -hmm. for the most part. Well, we've, we've fought, we've fought together. We've improved defensively. Um, you know, I think we're, we're, you know, our defense is ahead of our offense, um, which I don't think anyone was predicting coming into the year. But, uh, you know, that, that makes me happy. And I think our guys can kind of, you know, feel a sense of uh, pride in each other that they are defending. You know, we just just got back to what we what we want to do, which is is 
get into early action and get off the ball, attack the paint. You know, we didn't get very many pin, paid touches in the first half, you know, especially in the second quarter. Uh, I think we had one rim, rim attempt, and we got to try to get in the paint and collapse the defense and play from there. So I thought we did a better job of that. I know Blake has given you physicality pretty much most of the times that he's been out there. Um, did you get the impression, A, that this meant any more to him, the way he played? And B, just can you assess his performance? It seems, at least from the outside, that this is probably his best ever of the season. Yeah, I mean... You know, we, we love uh, that Blake brings it and gives us that physicality. You know, he's also a very intelligent player. Um, you know, so he's taking charges. He's fighting on the glass. Uh, he, you know, understands our concepts defensively. And I thought offensively tonight he helped us with some screening and some, you know, so, you know, I think he made a three and some rolls and uh, finishes and just, you know, made a lot of hustle plays for us. So he's, he's you know, somebody that we've, we've come to rely on and count on. And, uh, you know, I thought he was great tonight. When you say the uh, defense is ahead of the offense, uh, was that kind of reflected in, in uh, the fourth quarter? Because you had the, that great third quarter, and then the offense kind of broke down there a little bit. Uh, yeah, I mean, we didn't defend great in the fourth quarter, but I think a part of that was, uh, you know, they, they had nothing to lose. They started lining up shots and making them. Um, could have played better defense for sure, but also a part of it was they made some shots and went on a run. You know, that's what teams in this league can do. Um, but we weathered it. I think, you know, overall the defense was pretty solid tonight, and uh, you know, offensively it wasn't great, but uh, we found a way in the end to get it done. Was when you go from the second quarter to the third quarter, you know, second quarter finished up on 15 percent, and the third quarter was 15 out of 19. Was that just as simple as getting penetration and? kind of being yeah. aggressive in your driving or was it something think, that you saw in, in their defense? No, I think that was a mandate for the players was to try to get in the paint, attack the paint. You know, if you're if they take it away and get off it early and we'll play on the second side. And, you know, I think that's where our team's taken a few steps in the last week and tonight we took a step back. But uh, in, that, in the third quarter, we were much better at playing quicker, creating opportunities for each other uh, by playing fast and trying to get in the paint and attack. You know, when we get passive and stationary, we allow the defense to load up on us and it makes it hard on us. I think I'd be lying if some of it, if I didn't say some of it was carelessness, but, um, you know, there's, it's still, you know, each game presents different, you know, tactical, um, and emotional, you know, um, problems that you have to solve and sometimes I thought that emotionally we got a little bit off kilter and weren't making simple clear-headed decisions trying to make home runs or just careless with it so you know it's a good lesson for us I think we you know the positive is we found a way to win and and the negative is that we still realize we have we have a lot of work to do but it's been a good week for us the building getting towards better basketball offensively obviously we had two good offensive quarters tonight but um you know really two poor ones as well yeah yeah that's that's part of it but I'm, I'm really not worried about other teams you know we came into the season we spent you know almost two weeks with a different team uh then we lose Kyrie now it's a totally different situation so we're, we're just trying to build a new team and trying to work at uh what this group and and what you know that's a big hole and everyone's got to step up a level and a notch in minutes and responsibility and so to find out what the best way for this group to play is a process and so we're, i've been really proud of the guys the way they've engaged in in what we're asking them to do and um what our improvements we've made but it, you know it's a totally different situation and we got to work our way through it circle back to two things you said you talked about at times getting emotionally on kilter i mean I don't know if you had a vantage point on that play where James lost the ball, rolling, he didn't go for it. I mean, is that an example of just being emotionally all kilter or did, did he think he was fouled? Or yeah, you know, I think he may have just. Say anything. Yeah, no, I didn't say anything to him. Look, James is, is um, you know, he. I think at that moment he was tired and made a mistake and he owned up to it. He said he made a mistake. I don't need to tell him that he made it. He knows he made it. And, uh, you know, stuff happens and it's about how you respond to it. And we responded and uh, found a way to get to stay on top and win the game. But, you know, that, that's that's the NBA. You play 
three, four games a week. You're going to have games where emotionally or physically or tactically you're not sharp. And uh, tonight we weren't as sharp as we needed to be. But defensively, we scrapped and won the game down there. You mentioned being without, obviously being without Kyrie. I'm sure obviously, you were coaching. The uh, the mayor uh, was on CNN talking about uh, the vaccine mandates and specifically asked about Kyrie. And his response was, "Well, in essence, the city we're not changing any mandates because of Kyrie. I hope he comes back and plays, but we're not changing anything. And it's up to the league and the team and Kyrie to work this out together." Um, I'm just curious whether you thought, well, A, having been told that, what would be your reaction to that? And do you have any more hope for Kyrie coming back to play than maybe you did a week ago? Uh, my reaction is no surprise. I didn't I didn't expect the, the mayor to change the... The mandate, um, you know, we just got to focus on our team. If we could have Kyrie back, we'd all be, you know, ecstatic. But we focus.